Hi guys, it's Tanil from Paper Milkshake and welcome to all of you back to my channel and I hope you're all having a wonderful weekend. So a few videos ago you guys would have seen me share with you a little project that I made inspired by Bea Valint and um, Anna at Ephemeris. I basically made one of these albums using the Duce collection um, from Frank Garcia and I loved making it so much that I was going to experiment with making another one. So in this video I wanted to show you this second album that I made um, this weekend and I absolutely love how it turned out. They are so stunning um, and they're really really easy to make. They're just a little bit time consuming so if you feel like putting a bit more time and focus on a larger project then this is still relatively simple to make. Now at this point in time uh, I only have the sweet story, the Baggy Home Sweet Story pattern paper, and I'm loving Sweet Story. I absolutely love the collection. And I don't have any of the ephemera chipboards or stickers. So what I had to do was gather all my other collections and really look in my stash to see what else I could use. So you will th see throughout this video um, a bunch of other collections um, that I use to decorate this album, but I really like how it turned out. So in that video that I shared for this album, I mentioned that being my very first album, there were a few things that I missed. Uh, one of them being um, these little like ribbon ties. I didn't actually put any in this album and by the time I actually bound it all together it was a little bit too late so I did remember to do it this time and I actually used some smaller ring binders so you see this one has the really large white ones and this one has the smaller pink ones and it just works out a lot better to have that smaller size so let me go through it. This beautiful swan paper is from Sweet Story and it's such a gorgeous, gorgeous pink. I really love this paper. And that's one of the things I can always rely on Maggie Holmes to incorporate swans into her collections. I used a die, a, star, a nesting star die to cut out the star shape and turned it into a shaker with some of my favorite sequins made into a mix. Then on the front I used this beautiful bow from the confetti chipboards and this I love you so much is from the crate paper magical forest collection which I had hoped it would have more of this pink in it but there's quite a lot of browns and mustards which I'm not a big fan of so one of my favorite pieces definitely would be this one. So as you can see, we've got Sweet Story, Confetti, Magical Forest. Definitely this is part of the um, Mix Your Collections challenge that I'm doing, um, which um, Nyella at Paper Button Loves and Alice at I Am Absolutely Alice is running. So this is, I guess, um, my entry into the challenge, another one of my entries. Okay, so let's open the album doing a lot of talking here and I added some beautiful pink pom-pom trim which goes so well with that pink and just a bit of warning there is a lot of pom-pom happening in this pom-pom trim happening in this project so that's the b-side of the cover the inside of the cover and it's so beautiful and this square paper is actually the other side of the swan paper at the front Okay, now I grabbed one of my Good Vibes pom-pom trims, which I thought worked so well. I then fussy cut this um, Happy Place banner, which is from the Sweet Story 12 by 12 cut apart sheet. And I have one packet of open book ephemera. I have only ever owned the one ephemera pack from open book which is the one that I've just been recently gifted and I just thought that this rose from that ephemera pack worked out so well in this frame. There's something about mixing this sweet story paper and the glitter frame and the rose. I don't know, I just thought it like all looked really well together and it's not something I usually do, having a bright pink with a kind of almost realistic um, flower, which I thought went really well. And the back of that has this beautiful um, like schnauzer dog paper from Sweet Story which I really love 
And then this one, I'll let me pop the wings up a bit. You know how I love to pop up the wings on my butterflies. This one is an acetate shaker, which I've decorated with some cut aparts from Sweet Story. And some of that, most of that rainbow is hidden away, but I did a little um, trim with some leftover Sweet Story paper. And this little M is also from Open Book. And everything else is from Sweet Story. Very cute how it turned out. And a little close up of the sequins. And that's not just a normal acetate, that's the actual um, Mylar Pearl acetate. Now this pocket turned out really, really cute, a little bit different. What I, um, what I basically did was sew a little pocket together and I did have just a flat ephemera in there, but I wanted to do something a bit different because I have some of this beautiful um, doggy paper from Sweet Story left over. So I decided to do a little mini book, I guess you can call it, um, and used up some of my Magical Forest chipboards inside. So I just thought that was a really nice little, nice little fold out surprise that tucks into nicely into this pocket. Okay, and then there is this one. Unfortunately, the butterflies do seem to flatten when the album closes, so hopefully my pen pal will know to just fluff up the wings a bit. Now, what I did with, with this is I have three layers. I have that beautiful doggy paper, and then I have some vellum, a very lightweight vellum that I punched a scallop trim on both sides. And then the final layer is this piece that says, my wish for you is all of the sweet things you dream of and hope for. And that's one of the cut aparts from Sweet Store and it has a really nice message. And I quite like the simplicity of this one. Very, very girly and dainty. And in the back of that's just that beautiful mustard which is on the other side of the Schnauzer dog paper. Now this huge camera is from the Open Book Ephemera as well, same packet that the rose came from. And I just thought the colours coordinated really well with a Sweet Story confetti paper and the little girls from Magical Forest chipboards as are the hearts and the dream. And then the smiles in the paper are Sweet Story. So cute. Really, really cute. And then we have another vellum shaker pocket here. And this one's quite simple. It's just an open book ephemera that I sewed a sequins trim through the middle. And then I added the gold leaping, I, I don't know, I'm going to go with the reindeer. I'm not sure what animal that is, but um, that's from Open Book as well. And some beautiful detailing on that. And the sequins, I just picked some different sequins that I thought coordinated with Sweet Story really well. And then this is the last flip. So this is from, this tiger is from the Sweet Story cut apart sheet and it just folds up like that. I took one of these hexagonal pieces from the open book ephemera and I made a little, uh, maybe like a little, what do we call that? A little ribbon perhaps, um, just to tuck away lots of goodies behind that. So that's what it looks like without the goodies. And I just have some little trims that I sew together. I made this ephemera piece, which was what was originally going into that pocket. So this piece is from Sweet Story and those two little pieces are from Open Book. So I thought that was really, really cute. And then behind that, I just have three tags from Sweet Story cut aparts, which really is the only thing I can do in terms of ephemera since only the pattern paper is available to me at the moment. I did place an order recently with Sassy Scrappers, um, which means um, I'll get the bows, the gold bows and the 3D butterflies in the mail sometime today or tomorrow, hopefully, and then I'll get to play with Sweet Story more until the rest of the collection comes. So that's it. So I'll give you one last little flip, and the back of that is just the same beautiful swan paper from Sweet Story. So there we go, that's the start, that's the first flip, the acetate shaker, the little pocket, 
that beautiful dainty butterfly piece. Smiles. That shaker, which I love. And finally, the one that opens up. And then I'll just quickly show you the um, charm that I added to it. So that's it there. I've got the beautiful Mickey Mouse camera. The white pom-pom. The little reindeer is so cute. And of course, I had to add one of my little resin pink lollipops onto the end. There you go. I hope you like my little project share. I am obsessed with making these now. This is my second album. I hope to make a few more to give to my pen pals. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys are having a lovely weekend. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye, guys.